Hey guys, Maxime here. This video will show you how you can block ads on a CSGO server, specifically those annoying ads that blow up because they're at maximum volume. They can even cause lag spikes and decrease performance. When video ads were new to CSGO, you could actually just type CL underscore disable HTML message of the day and set it to minus one to bypass the ads. But today you can't and you're simply forced to listen to ads. Before I tell you how you can block them, I just want to make it clear that there's a reason why they have ads. It's meant to support server creators or host. If you're thinking about doing this, please understand that there's people on the other end. Alright, here we go. The first method is by adding no browser to the launch options of Steam. This will disable steamwebhelper.exe, in other words, you will not hear any ads on the server. Not only that, you might even get better FPS and less lag spikes. To do this, right click on your desktop, choose new, shortcut, and browse your Steam folder to find steam.exe. When you find it, select it and type no browser at the end like this. Give it a name and you're good to go. Now if you restart Steam using this shortcut, you will not hear any ads, and you might even get better performance. The downside is that the Steam browser will not work. However, you can still use another web browser on your computer to browse Steam normally. The second method is by blocking the ads through the host file by rerouting a couple sites and domains. This method is kinda neat cause you will still be able to use the Steam browser normally. Open Notepad as an administrator. Now choose Open and go to Windows, System32, Drivers, etc. And open up Hosts. From here, all you need to do is add this information to the file. These websites are connected to the video ads that are played on the server. And by putting 127001 in front, you're basically telling your computer to block the connection to these sites. Now you can even type seal disable HTML message of the day zero, which will turn on the ads, but you will still not hear them and you won't get kicked. The third method, which is probably the easiest one, is to simply open the volume mixer, look for Steam or anything that has to do with Steam, for example Steam Client Bootstrapper or Steam Web Helper, and lower the volume to zero. The downside is that you will not have any volume in the Steam browser, or if people try to message you on Steam, you might miss them. And if you like to go on YouTube, for example, through the Steam browser, you will not hear anything. In my opinion, it's still a method worth mentioning. I'll put links to all the methods in the video description with detailed information and also add the people who suggested these methods. So that's the video. I'll see you guys in the next one coming soon. Go Bananas!